Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm Stephanie West, I'm an LPC here in the state of Michigan. And I wanna share with you just two words that I want you to think through today. And these are related to our thought patterns. We're going to look at the difference between automatic and active thinking. So automatic thoughts are things that run basically on autopilot for us without even our permission. They're entrenched patterns of thinking, they're entrenched belief systems, they're entrenched ways of looking at the world that just run on autopilot. So if I perceive the world to be unsafe, there's something in my automatic thinking that's cluing me into that. If I perceive certain people or certain situations to be more than I can handle, there's something automatically that's running for me. When we are working in therapy, often what we do is we bring awareness to our automatic thoughts. That way we can disrupt them with active thinking. Active thinking is a way of taking whatever the thought is, calling attention to it, and then challenging it. Questioning whether that's a helpful thought, questioning, questioning whether it's an accurate thought, questioning whether it's a thought that we want to uh, retain anymore. And one of the things to understand is it takes a long time to rewrite automatic thinking, but we do it through active thinking. So an analogy that I really like to use with clients, when I did body pump a while back, one of the instructors had gone to a training and she came back and said, hey guys, I'm noticing that a lot of you are doing some inaccurate lifting on your bicep curl. And she said, here's the thing. First, we're going to ask you to modify your hold. And so she walked us through what a better hold was. I think it was like the elbows had to be back a touch further. And then she said, here's the thing. It takes around 3,000 reps of doing it the right way or this new upgraded way for you to use that muscle memory kind of automatically versus reverting back to the style that was less than helpful. And so use that as some verbiage. If you are trying to take an automatic thought and you're trying to replace it, it takes rep after rep, time after time, lift after lift, day after day. You have to do it again and again and again and again before it can potentially become a new automatic thought. So if I am trying to make a change and I'm noticing that my old thought patterns are showing up and my new thought patterns are showing up, well, that's what the transition period would look like because we're taking an active thought and we're trying to replace an automatic thought with something that's more helpful, more beneficial. We're trying to kind of emotionally regulate better and that means changing our thinking. And so for us to actively change our thinking, it just takes a while. And so one of my mentors said to me one time, he said, Steph, you get really, really rowdy when you want to think a certain way and you end up thinking in old patterns. And he said, friend, you gotta lighten up because it's going to take a while. So I wanna encourage you, if you're making a change and you're noticing it's this slow, gradual shift, of course it is, because it takes rep after rep, time after time, showing up with the new thought, and it's going to be a while before it becomes automatic thinking. It's going to be a while before it's more helpful thinking because we have some patterns that have been running for years or for decades. And unfortunately, it takes a while to rewrite some of those things. But the cool thing is if you're willing to stick with it over time, what is an active thought that you're working on starts to become your automatic thought and you keep practicing that over and over and then your job is just to go live it out with a more healthy, productive thought pattern. Whenever we work on our thought patterns, we're also working on our behaviors and our emotions. And so I wanna encourage you, encourage you to stick with it. There's a huge payoff to taking our automatic thoughts, disrupting them and choosing active thoughts that are more helpful and that get us towards what we want to be as it relates to how we navigate the world around us.